Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hearthstone Brawl video. I woke up this morning and found that my quest was to complete five brawls and so I, there was a new brawl open today. I checked it out and it's uh, if you play, which is different from summon, a minion, it gets taunt and charge. So I thought, okay, uh, hunter, you know, charge him down, play pretty much minions with death rattles, so like everything that if it dies it produces another minion, so I'll basically be able to overpower. Um, exceptions are being the runic egg, the nerubian egg, and the devil sword egg. These just make it to where I have taunts up to absorb their charges if I don't play any other minions, and then I get uh, minions that are or either draw a card or get minions that are uh, bigger for their cost. Uh, the exceptions being, of course, the Scavenging Hyena, which there's a good enough amount of beasts here that that's going to work out just fine, or has worked out so far just fine. And Animal Companion, which, yes, it is a summoning of a beast, not the playing of one, but if you get Leoc, all the tokens that are left over from everything else get much more powerful. Uh, Huffer won me a game against a warrior. Haven't seen uh, uh, Misha in this particular deck, but I won my five brawl games, got the quest completed undefeatedly, so I figured I'd share the deck Rexa with y'all. And I do I apologize that my last uh, brawl Let's video didn't have the deck begin. overlay. There was uh, something going on with my... that's a curve. I think we can do better though, especially with the hyena. Um, so yeah, I had to fix something in my recording software to get that to show up a little better. So, alright, we'll have the Runic Egg coin Alley Cat, perhaps. Um, we want them to kill the Runic Egg, so maybe we just play the Runic Egg naked. Yeah, and then next turn we can, like, Hyena, coin Alley Cat for some shenanigans. That sounds good to me. Okay, so he's unable to play a minion, which is good for us. So we'll... Okay. Not the best. In fact, maybe in retrospect I should have played Haunted Creeper instead, or Kinda Grandmother. Because then, if I had played kindly game, grandmother, now <clears throat> this isn't too bad. I just don't like that whatever he plays and charges can just take out the hyena. I probably played, could have played that better. I didn't think it through well enough. Hmm. I'm always, I think in general, playing Hearthstone, I play my hyenas a little too soon, just because I can. Which in this deck is not even necessary because <laughs> there's quite the uh, curve going on. Okay, so here we can start seeing the uh, potency of the deck. Basically, my Harvest Golem is going to have Taunt, so it's probably going to be the first thing to die because he doesn't want to kill the egg. But I'll be left with a 2-1, and I'll just overwhelm him. Um, so far, usually when I play Tavern Brawls, um, I'll come up with a deck idea, and then my opponent will... Alright, I had thought of doing all poisonous, so apparently that's what this guy has done. Anyways, what I was trying to say is, like, usually it comes down to, I see other people building decks that I think would be interesting. And, uh, let's see here. We'll just do two, two, two drops. <laughs> However, this taunt, or this particular brawl, I have yet to well see a deck that I'm up against that seems you interesting. Got a pair. So it will be interesting to see... Alright, Animal Companion is a very good draw, because if I get Leoc here, I'll be able to trade more favorably. Alright, the one time we get Misha. Okay, well, we're going to play the Runic Egg and the Web Spinner in theory, so let's get the Web Spinner out there first. Wow, okay, that's a thing. Alright, we got to leave room for the... Houndmaster next turn. 
So let's do the two one here. And let's get Kindly Grandmother to upgrade. I think that's good. Alrighty. So, I don't think the game's gonna last to turn 10, but if it does, a charged taunt Tyrantus is amazing. That's pretty funny, actually. So yeah, usually, and I'm not the best deck builder, so I'm almost certain my current deck list could easily be tweaked to be a good 20-30% better than what it is. Um, I just happen think. to be undefeated as of yet because the Brawl just rolled out, and I was out of Hearthstone for a couple years, so I don't know if this is a re-release of an old Brawl, but so far it doesn't appear that anybody has offered up... Uh, a deck that I thought was particularly competitive. That was the other thing I thought to do is um, all those minions that have low health, you know, get the charge thing going down. All right. Reporting for duty. And at this point, with the Hunter's Hero Power and the Residual Tokens, you just basically, you know, burn them down. I don't know if you can see my cursor flickering. I had to turn on Record Layered Windows to get this to show up. Oh, that's a good one for him. Right, he's drawing cards of the Cult Master. Cult Master is a good idea. Especially with all the tokens that I generate, you know? Shredder or this thing? Run away! I always try to put the pilot of Shredder in the middle just in case it produces uh, the, the wolf that gives the adjacent buffs. <clears throat> so, yeah, I haven't seen anybody else do the whole death rattle thing yet. Um, okay, that's a good idea. Big taunt. Lots of healing. Alright, I see what he's doing. It's not a bad idea, I suppose. Interesting. Free card draw, maybe? Oh wow. And I get the card draw. That's awesome. And we got enough mana to do... Oh wait, no we don't, because this heals. Oh, I wish there was a way to box. Unfortunately, I can't finish him this turn. The victory is. All right, so there's one game in the books. On camera, I mean. Like I said, when I uh, started the brawl, when I saw the brawl, and then I had a quest for the brawl, I just ripped this deck together um, and won my first five, and I was like, well. Uh, my last Hearthstone Brawl video didn't wasn't too widely received because my channel mostly got popular due to Civilization V. So, uh, but still, I do this for fun, and I figured why not share it. So it looks like we drew Runic Gag and two Rexa! Infestables. We do get to go first, Rexa! so that'll be helpful. Um, there was a game I played, Hunter vs. Hunter. They went first, and I assumed that that would mean like that they would overpower me, but they didn't do the token thing like I'm doing, so uh, I just basically was able to overpower them Ooh, with my residual. Alright, well hopefully we get some card draw, and hopefully we get a two drop here. Even another one drop, it wouldn't be the most efficient, but I don't have anything to play next turn right now, and that's going to be a huge temple swing for him. Come on, two drop. Can do it. Okay, not the best, not the two drop I was looking for, but that'll work. Now here's a uh, another reason why I have the animal companion. If I get Leoc, these guys can actively start like destroying themselves. That's the one thing this deck is missing is a way to activate or kill my own eggs. But in a bad draw situation, it's not so bad because. <laughs> Alright, 
So now we get a 4 4. That's a good deal. Alright, so I'm gonna do the rat pack, so because this has a 2 health, and that means my Nerubian dude will be well protected. There we go. And now we are in control of the board. And next turn, Animal Companion Alley Cat will be devastating if I do get Leoc. Okay. I didn't have any taunts up, so he gets a fair adapt. That's not bad. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get Wind Fury. Okay, that was the second thing I was hoping he wouldn't get. Um, Alright, so we'll do Shredder, because that'll allow us to kill this thing without having to get the wind. And if it does give us the wolf, we won't have to actually give up both rats. But it didn't give us the wolf, so press on. Keep on board controlling and nailing him. That's all you can hope for, Mind really. If I roll need. This is draw a card on Death Row. That's a nice thing. Yield from the pilot of Alright, that's only got one health, so the alley cat will be plenty here. Devil Sword Egg or Animal Companion. Um, let's make it the Animal com or the Devil Sword Egg. Because after this attacks that, he's not going to have any minutes, so whatever he plays will have to charge into my head. And that'll give me a 5-5 to come at him with. And of course, next turn we're going to drop the Savannah High Main and really rock the board, so... He has not played the coin yet. Oh, he gets to take out the Devil Sword. Good for him. But he spent his whole turn dealing with my board while my existing board will deal another four. Plus the existing. I don't need to play the Razor Maw here because I've got beasts on the board, I've got beasts coming, and i got beasts I can cast alongside it. So there's no urgency here. I've been thinking about how I would improve the deck if I was to tweak it any. Um, the only reason I haven't been the least bit tempted is because I haven't lost a game yet, and this was my first draft of the deck for this brawl, so hmm. I'm going to uh, keep it, I think. And it is kind of a fun brawl, too. Uh, this is the second deck in a row. I hadn't seen, like, a Rager prior to starting this uh, recording. But that was my second deck idea, is to get the high, high uh, attack power thing. I wonder. The reason why that's not the best idea is because without an existing board control to wipe off their stuff, their high power stuff can't get through. So as you can see, I just have a residual board and I'm just beating him down. No problem. get from this. Huffer, that's pretty great. We've got nine bearing down on him. This is the one I get. Um, one, won't matter. Piece of cake. Should have just hero powered rather than playing out, but game was over, so why not? Uh, my hunter still isn't level 60, and if I recall correctly, back when Hearthstone first came out, the rumor was the amount of cards you play adds to the XP you gain, so that's why I chose a card over the hero power. Probably minuscule and negligible, but you know. Figured I'd mention it in case it's uh, beneficial information to others. Rexa! Right. Another Rexa. hunter. I, I look forward to these hunter matchups because I think Hunter does this death rattle token thing better than anybody else. Alright, pilot assurers are good, but I I'm only keeping this because I have the coin. Alright, that's not a bad uh, bad thing. Hopefully I draw a different one or two drop. 
Or maybe my grandmother can. Yeah. All right. I'll actually do this because this kills his. Stays on the board as a taunt, and whatever he plays now will kill that, and I'll start off with tokens. That'll give me more options as I enter turn two. into his turn three so the idea that everything he puts down won't be able to take out a 2-2 and it's my only taunt so I figured that's kind of a no-brainer. Really. It's nice going into turn three I've got the option of playing the ramp pack or these two. So, right, my right pack kills his ramp pack and no man gets through and my spiders kill his spiders. Or, rather, my spiders kill his rats. And that's significant because the spiders out of a haunted creeper are not beasts, whereas these are. Um, I don't have Houndmaster in this deck, but, you know, it's one of those things. Alright, hopefully he can't kill the Nerubian, but it looks like he will. He chose it very quickly. Alright, he should attack into my minions here. He did not, which is a bad idea. Alright, four mana. We will drop this. And then we're going to drop the egg in case this little Spitfire hits something. We don't want it to hit this because we still need. Oh! He high rolled it. Good for him. Alright. I must say, his card follow through is very impressive. His hand is uh, better than mine right now. Yeah, see, I didn't put the Houndmaster in because everything already comes out with taunt anyways, you know. Okay, hopefully he left my tokens up, and he does. Okay, so. Let's do that. Do that. What's the teeth I have? Oh, at that point, I probably should have done the runic. Oh, it doesn't matter because the Houndmaster has or the Hyena has time. Okay, a silencer. That might come in handy. <clears throat> Wow! <laughs> Good for him. Alright. Something that'll kill that? That's good. I was wondering why the button wasn't lighting up and I forgot we're playing a brawl where everything gets charged, so... Alright, so here his card follow-through might actually turn out to punish me because we don't have anything all that useful right now. Alright, and it looks like the owl's gonna come into play very well here. Oh, nice! Wow! Did really good there. Okay. So we'll see that one. These are the ghostly ones. Yeah, so we'll kill off them first. Again, putting it in the middle in case the wolf pops out. Alright, and his card advantage has evaporated, so the fact that I'm playing tokens wins out after all. <clears throat> I had thought of the Worgen too, because uh, we're hot on the heels of last week's brawl. Savannah Hyman, very good. Got the non beast one, of course. Just here a pilot. Okay. And there you have it. I hope, uh, being that this brawl did just come out, that this gives you an idea for a deck. Hope you guys get your victories in.
and enjoyed the video, give me some feedback. Let me know what kind of things you see. Um, I do play Hearthstone more these days, and I think Ungarl has made the game quite interesting, and Nerf just hit to the Crystal Rogue, Quest Rogue, so... Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see, and uh, maybe I can oblige. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you feel I've earned it, give me a like or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.